Now because I'm in icon view, I can preview this little icon thumbnail much larger. I'll just drag this slider down the bottom here to the right, just to check that this is the right document. This is the one that I'm looking for, and I do want to copy this one. So all I need to do is select that and drag it straight to the desktop. Now in order to copy a file, I need to hold down the option key at the same time. Now you'll notice, as soon as I hold down the option key, the mouse cursor changes. I now have a green circle with a plus within. Now that's indicating that I am actually copying this file. If I let go of option at the moment, that's removed. If I hold down option again, that's copying the file. So let me let go, and there it is. There's a copy of my file. I'm going to type in quotation, followed by about, and then stacks. And I'll just close the quotes there as well. Now what I've done is I've actually searched for the exact phrase about stacks within a document. And this can be quite useful. So if you're not finding what you're actually looking for, just remember that you can take advantage of using quotation marks. You can actually save this as a search. If I go in and click save, I now get the option to actually save what we call a smart folder. Now I'm going to call this download PDF. I'm going to save it in save searches and I'm also going to make sure that add to sidebar is checked. Now watch what happens when I select save. Now you can see we have a quick search button straight to any PDFs that are called download. In the time limits tab you can decide how often and how long you're giving kids access to this computer. So for instance, you can set weekday time limits, weekend time limits, and also bedtime settings. Now this really allows you to control at what time of day your child will be able to access the computer, both in the weekday and the weekend, and also whether or not they have to be off the computer by a certain time. From here, we can enable spaces, and I'm going to select also show spaces in menu bar. When I do this, you can see I now have a spaces icon right within the menu bar. One thing I want to point out is that down below here, it says to activate spaces, you need to press F8. To switch between spaces, we also have some options as well. Now you can customize this option, but I'm going to leave that up to you to do that on your own Mac. So I'm going to close out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch Safari. Now you can pretend that I'm working away and doing all sorts of things here and I'll create lots of windows and that's one project that I've got going. Now if I want to switch over to a clean working environment, all I need to do is select the space I'm looking for. So from one, I'm going to go to two and now I've got a brand new working space and I can continue working on whatever it is that I need to do. Then I'm going to go to the options icon and then choose burn two items to disk. As soon as I do this, this is going to start the process of burning this CD or DVD. Now because I've already inserted a CD, I'm ready to go. I'm going to give this a name, so I'll just call this Quick Look Goodies. And then I need to determine a burn speed. In this instance, I'm just going to say the maximum possible. I'm sure that'll be fine with the two files that I have currently available. All I need to do now is press burn, and this is going to start the process. If I click on either one of these, I can see that there's a group of items within these folders, and that's what we call or refer to as a stack. Now you can create a shortcut to any folder on your Mac just by dragging and dropping like we did with the application icons. If I go into Macintosh hard drive, and then into users, infinite skills, and then maybe I access the pictures folder, let's say I want to create a shortcut of this one. Well, all I need to do is drag that straight down to that location within the dock. And as you can see, when I move it around, everything reshuffles, and that's now in position. All I need to do is let go, and I can access the pictures folder quickly and easily at any time. I'll click on that, and you can see I have one folder in there called chat icons, and I can also open this in the finder. I've got my two images. First of all, I'll select them both, and I'll drag and drop straight to the application. Now the automator has gone ahead and converted both of those images to one PDF. 
and that's important to realize. If you select multiple images, they will be converted to one PDF file. So let's open this up and have a look at it. There we go. I've got my two screenshots, both within one PDF. 